Hey everybody, this is Josh, the Retro Regamer, so I'm going to talk to you about the Atari box. I had an earlier video for this up on my feed, but the sound was just destroyed in it, which I don't know when I was editing it and looking at it online. I was getting decent sound feedback, and I did it pretty late, so I must have screwed something up. But anyway, here we go. So, Atari box, my thoughts on it, what it is, what it isn't. And I have to say, first off, I... I'm really curious to see. I, I've really been excited for this project. I've been hoping for something good from this project. I know a lot of people are talking about this project right now, but this is what I have to say about it. Uh, and what I'm saying and what I think is I don't think it's going to be like a next-gen console. So if you're going for it, looking for a next-gen console, like a, like a new like uh, you know Xbox or new PlayStation, I don't think it's going to be that. So I don't think you should be expecting that. Secondly... I don't think it's not going to be one of the systems that you can play like every Atari game that's ever been on an Atari system because a lot of those games aren't actually Atari games. They're owned by other companies. Atari, you know, licensed, excuse me, licensed them. They didn't actually do those games. So, you know, like Pac Man was Namco, Pitfall was Activision. Okay, so there's, yes, they probably could get those and they could probably get those and do some kind of like a flashback thing like they've been doing, but. Don't don't just assume that because it says Atari on it they can do that. Okay, the Atari is very different. So anyway, what I think it is. So what I think it is, honestly, is probably something like a Steam box or something along those lines. I think it's something that you're going to be able to connect in wirelessly, go to a store, download some games. I don't think it's going to have a ton of internal storage. It's not meant to be just an offline box. I think it's going to mostly need to be connected, probably with wireless and the wired as we saw on the back of it. Um, I think the USB ports are great because that gives you multiple different you know setups you can use different controllers. Uh, I think it may do some emulation, be like an emulation box essentially for a lot of things, which is really cool, you know. And I'm sure people will probably take it apart and maybe put a you know some Atari emulation on there, and they'll emulate every Atari game that's ever come out. I don't know, but I don't think you should be expecting a ton of like heavy hitter specs. I don't think we're gonna have like AAA titles on here right off the bat. I'm seeing like maybe some exclusive games, maybe some homebrews, maybe some indie games, things kind of like that. Um, maybe some classic Atari games, kind of like what's on the flashback. Maybe a few of those just to kind of hook people in. Um, maybe they'll come with the console. Maybe not. I mean, there's no optical drive. They're not going to be like you're not going to be loading physical media into it for a disc. I think it's going to be all internet connected, is what it seems like to me. So, if I have to put it somewhere, I think it's going to be kind of in between the Switch and maybe the Xbox. Like I don't think. I don't necessarily think it's going to be an Android platform. I mean, maybe, but I don't think that's all it's going to be. I think it will have some decent specs, and maybe can do some more outside of that, and maybe use a different type of operating system and, and build on it. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I mean, nobody really knows yet, so it's all kind of conjecture right now. Maybe it will be, but that's kind of what my thinking is on it, is this is going to be kind of like a thin client box almost. It's going to be a shell. It's going to have some computing on it, but it's mostly going to hook up to a server, and it's going to either play games there or play games online, or maybe you'll be able to download a few. But it's not going to be like a constant like download, you know, download it and play it, or plug in your media and play it. I don't, I just don't see that happening. Um, I think spec wise, you know, I don't think it's going to have a huge internal storage. Uh, maybe something like 64 gigs, something like that, 32 gigs, kind of like what we saw with the Switch. Uh, I think it's probably going to have some decent, a little bit of low-end processing, you know, probably a quad-core or something like that, maybe dual-core to quad-core, um, you know, maybe a couple gigs of RAM kind of thing. Like, I'm just saying, like, kind of a basic box setup so that you can play games, get connected, and that's what it's going to be for. I think it's going to be a lot of things like that. And, heck, maybe it will hook into Steam or something like that, and you can play Steam games through it. Uh, but I see it more as something like that than like, okay, you're going to hook up and you're going to play the next, you know, huge AAA title that comes out, you know, Gears of War, whatever. I, I just don't see that. Maybe some older titles and older games that were kind of modern games, but I don't know. That's my thinking on it. That's what I think about it. That's what I think it's probably going to be. Um, as far as price range, if they go more the thin client route, if they do more of the like low end kind of stuff, I'm going to say probably $100 to $150 um, is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, if maybe $200 at the most, 
but I don't see it going much above that unless it is a lot beefier machine. If it's got a lot of beefy specs on it, you know, it can handle a lot of AAA new games. It can handle a lot of anything you throw at it. Maybe more like 250, 300. Um, I don't see it getting above 300 though, because I think that's really hard for a new system coming in the market to hit above that. So we'll see if this is going to be like a true new system or if this is just going to be like an emulation box and just another like, you know, plug up and hook up and play some games kind of thing. Um, you know, they have a lot of potential. It has a lot that they can work with here. So we'll see what they do. You know, the, this is kind of their first big foray besides the flashbacks into something like this console gaming. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Like, subscribe, check out my other videos. I just did another one recently on the SNES Classic. And let me know what you think. Thanks.